Hey guys, Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I'm gonna show you guys how to get a straighter line on top of your fingers when you're cutting. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna cut a side fringe because it's just easy to do uh, as I show you this. Uh, we might as well do something productive, right? So I'm gonna hold the hair up in the air here and I'm gonna be working on top of my fingers. Now, a lot of people will come in here and just start cutting across just like this to get that line, right? So what we wanna do uh, to be more professional and to get a better result and not cut ourselves as much is I'm going to slide this steady blade across the top of my finger. So that steady blade is staying on my finger and the, the blade that moves is coming across and making the cut. So that way, no matter what, as I'm working across the top of my finger, I get a more consistent result because my scissor's not bouncing around. And you get a straighter line because if you think about it, if I go to cut the hair, let me grab a bunch of hair real quick. If I go to cut the hair, just like this, and let's say I got all this flimsy hair up here and I go to cut it, as I'm cutting it, especially if you don't have a sharp scissor, it's, the hair is going to push and the hair is going to push because of the fact that it's flimsy up there. So as soon as that scissor starts to touch it, it pushes the hair away. The reason I'm going to get a straighter cut doing it up against my fingers is because that hair has nowhere to go. So because it has nowhere to go, I get a more flush cut against my hand. So definitely make sure that you work on, again, you don't have to have a head to work on this. You don't have to do it in the salon with your guests. Take time, do it at home, but work right across your fingers and just practice. If you cut yourself, it's not my fault, but you need to make sure that you're practicing this at home and just work that blade straight across. Hopefully you guys can see it just like this. Work that blade. The moving blade goes across. The steady blade slides across your pointer finger and you cut. Again, you're gonna get a more successful result. You're gonna get straighter lines and all of that. So make sure that you check us out right here at freesaloneducation.com on YouTube, subscribe. We got videos coming out Monday through Friday every day of the week, more tips just like this. So share it with your friends and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.